Hello everyone, I hope that you have gone through my previous video on this chapter as we title as from trade to talent. In this video, we will try to understand the latest segment of the chapter. So let us begin with this advance of Britishers towards Mysore. As we have seen that subsidiary alliances given a lots of opportunity for the Britishers to establish their control over the many princely state of the state. So following that policy, now the Britishers they started to advance towards the Mysore. Let us tell me or let us try to understand a few things about the Mysore. Do you know the Mysore is being ruled by so many rulers but among them two rulers were very popular and they were very powerful. They were Hyder Ali and the Tipu Sultan. The Hyder Ali and the Tipu Sultan they were the uh, father and the son. So let us see the period in which the Hyder Ali ruled the Mysore. The period from 1761 to 1782 the Hyder Ali ruled the Mysore. During their control over the Mysore or during their rule it was very difficult for the British East India Company to, to have their control over the Mysore. But after 1782 or just in the mid of the 1782 see the uh, commanding skill or the administrative skill of the Tipu Sultan Hyder Ali has decided to make Tipu Sultan sit on the throne of Mysore. So Tipu Sultan ascended the uh, throne of Mysore in the year 1782 and he lasted in the throne since, since 1799. Do you know because of his, his warfare skill and the management skill, the foreign policy the Tipu Sultan has followed because of that he was also come to be known as what the Tiger of Mysore. When the Tipu Sultan ascended the throne, he put certain restrictions on the company. Like in 1785, the Sultan tried to stop the company's trade with the uh, Mysore. As you know that in those days, the company was doing trade with the various spices which are very popular in the European market which we have already discussed these were chinamam, cardamom, cloves and the fine quality of silk and cotton along with that the sandalwood was one of the important trade materials on which the company do trade so when Sultan ascended the throne of Mysore and he became the ruler in 1785 he put all kind of restriction to do trade with the uh, company not only that, he has put certain restrictions to the local merchants and he tried to stop the trade of this uh, company within the local merchants of the uh, Mysore. Now, these particular things give a, another thought to the uh, company. So, seeing all this, the company has found that the uh, ruler of Mysore were a great threat to company. They were very ambitious. They were danger for the company. They thought of fighting a battle with the Sultan of Mysore. Not only that, in another hand, if you see that Sultan, it means the Sultan of Mysore, who is known as a, a Tipu Sultan, he developed a very close relation with the uh, French and he modernized his army with the modern methods or skill of warfare. This was a big cause of worry for the British East India Company. So to suppress the advance of this Sultan and uh, as they are getting closer to the French and modernizing their army one aspect. Another aspect is the Sultan is imposing all kind of restrictions to the company to do any kind of trade not only that the local merchants were also uh, restricted or put restrictions on local merchants also to do a uh, trade with the company now the company has thought of uh, remove the sultan from the throne that's why they fought a battle with the tipu sultan of mysore the tipu sultan and the company has fought four major battles these battles are in this consecutive years, the first battle of Mysore which is found between the company and the Sultan was found in 
1767 which lasted up to 1769 okay in which the company failed to defeat the uh, sultan in the consecutive way another two battles were formed that is 1780 to 1784 and 1790 to 1792 these were the three battles in which company were not able to defeat the sultan okay but the continuous long time of battle with the company uh, weakened the sultan's army and finally in the battle of 1799 which is also called as the battle of serendipatnam sultan was defeated and he was killed after that what happened company they have given the administrative uh, power in the hands of udayas who were the previous uh, dynasties of the mysore who were ruling the uh, throne or the ruling the mysore in that way you can see that in this particular segment after defeating the sultan when the administrative system of the mysore was given to udaya the old dynasty of the mysore the company has executed its the policy of subsidiary alliances now in that way after the avad and we can see after our mysore too was annexed by the britishers so this is how the advance of the uh, company towards the southern part of the country was also seen so one after another company was successful to annex many of the indian princely state and its territory under its control next to that they fought with the marathas and marathas which were known as one of the great warrior of india who had a great military strength great fighting uh, techniques they too faced the company's aggressions now let us see how the defeat of maratha no given a another opportunity for the company to raise in the power in the northwest part of our country as well now see the company fought the battle with the marathas who were one of the most powerful dynasty or the ruler of the northwest part of the country do you know the marathas they fought three battles with the east india company if you see the process of curbing out the marathas power to extend the company rule it begins from the late 18th century okay and first battle of maratha which fought between Brit company and the marathas was in the year 1775 and it lasted up to 1782 do you know the first anglo maratha war begins with the treaty of surat and it's uh, ended with the treaty of sablai but the first anglo maratha war though it says that that it has come with no victory but fact is that in the first anglo maratha war britishers were very with a very heavy hand crushed by the maratha warriors it means the britishers were not capable of smashing down the handful of maratha warriors who were so modernized who were so brave who were so skilled especially in the gorilla type of warfare but many of the history book says that the first maratha war has ended with the no result no end was victorious but fact is that the britishers were failed to defeat the marathas they failed to suppress the uh, rising powers of the marathas and their tremendous warfare and the courage which was not able to smash down by the company so in that way the maratha war has ended with the treaty of supply the uh, supply in the first maratha war that is in the year 1782 again the company has attacked on the marathas the second time that is in 1803 to 1805 second maratha war was broke out but in this time when the second maratha war broke out it has come with some of the conclusion and the conclusion was it able to captured the certain part of odisha and not only that it able to uh, control the north of the yamuna including the agra and delhi so in these regions the odisha the uh, north part of the yamuna 
including Agra and Delhi, the control of Maratha has reduced after the Second Maratha War or Anglo Maratha War. So then, even then, even after uh, having a control over these territories or taking these uh, provinces in their control, the company was failed to suppress the Marathas completely. That's why, again, the company fought another battle with the Marathas, which came to be known as Third Anglo Maratha War, which broke out in the year 1817 and lasted up to 1818. So, in Third Maratha War, what we see, the company was of, uh, successful to remove over the Peshwas, the Maratha rulers, and it um, expanded its control over the west part. Do you know after that also the company's annexation process to execute the subsidiary alliances was not stopped. Then how it has happened, how it has gone and what are the other methods the company has adopted to uh, expand their territorial control over the uh, Indian territory we will continue to see in the next video.